สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Thai Thoughts and my name is Pam. Here we come again at the end of the week. I want to tell you guys what's going on in Thailand and the latest news that happening in Thailand. First, I'm gonna talk about Korean prisoner last time while in Thai custody. The government's plan to impose a congestion charge of 50 baht who enter in Bangkok. All condition and everything you need to know about destination Thailand visa. And lastly, Thailand now officially get into winter season. Before we going to start, hope you like and subscribe to the channel. And also you can share your thoughts down below. What do you think about the topic that I covered today? Anything new or interesting or you want to add up anything more? Please let me know down below. First, I'm going to start with the Korean prisoner who do live stream while in custody. Two immigration officers in Chonburi province are facing punishment for letting a South Korean drunk suspect live stream while in policy custody. 44 prisoner was arrested for drug trafficking and had overstayed his visa by 373 days while being transferred to Bangkok for deportation. He live stream a video for over an hour promoting his YouTube channel and showing scene of Pattaya. He talked about escaping and claimed he can use a phone in detention by bribing officials. If someone knows that they have some kind of gray zone in Thailand that you can bribe some officer, but I would say it's not happened with every officer and this guy might have a hint from those officers that maybe he might give him permission and he pay enough money to use his phone but too bad that he wasn't know that he gonna use that for do live stream who gonna imagine about that right that he do live stream why he transferred to another jail and i've heard about that thing too that some officer accept some bribe if you get caught on the street when you do some foul penalty you just get them 100 or 500 baht and that's it and as you know corruption in thailand is really really serious thing now for the index ranking thailand rank is 108 among all the country around the world from all 180 country around the world and the first position is mean the most clean and transparent for everything is no corruption so as you can see the rank by score in thailand is not really good and this news can prove that what do you think about this news have you ever heard this kind of this thing before or have you ever experienced it yourself please let me know down below the thai government is considering a congestion charge of 40 to 50 baht for entering central bangkok street aiming to reduce traffic and raise funds to support a flat 20 baht fare policy for all electric rail lines in greater bangkok the charge would be imposed on roads in the business area that they have so many cars basically in the bangkok well for this new it's have a lot of discussion online and some Thai people not very happy about these new laws because they feel like why they have to pay more. And according to the electric rail lines, it's not cover all the Bangkok area yet. I mean for in the Bangkok area, yes, but for someone who live in the border of Bangkok, like outside of the main Bangkok area, they have to drive their car and then when they want to use the SkyTrain, they don't even have a parking that they can park their car and then get into the sky train right that's the problem and most of people who work in bangkok they can't afford the price that go very high that close to the electric rail lines that's why they have to live outside the bangkok a little bit so that's why they complain about that that they have to pay for extra 50 baht but for me personally i think i agree with this laws because of that laws they're gonna support to have a flat lid for the sky train or 
subway in Bangkok and if you use the SkyTrain from the last station to the first station it might take almost 150 baht already which is the minimum wage income in Thailand is earned only 330 baht it's like took a half of the earning income per day already so if they're gonna announce flat rate for 20 baht I think it's really fair and it's gonna invite more people to use the transportation system but the thing that I really concerned that for now is already packed up people already in rush hour or sometimes even the sky train or subway is stopped working because of some accident if that happen often from now on it's gonna cause a lot of problem for a lot of people who work in bangkok right i think if they're gonna announce these laws they should make sure that they have enough train to support in rush hour and make sure that they really have like a well maintenance well from the government said they're gonna apply the laws in the mid of the next year in 2025 so this thing gonna be benefit and be great news for all tourists and foreigners who live in bangkok for sure because they're gonna reduce a lot of money that you pay per time let's say if you have to go back and forth you might have to pay 300 baht already but now you can pay for only 40 baht to back and forth that's amazing right and for the destination thailand visa that allow you to stay in thailand for 180 days without leaving in this visa you just pay for 10,000 baht for fee and then you can use this visa for multiple entry for five years Woo! so which mean if you stay here for 180 days and then you just leave for one day or a couple of days and then you can come back it's gonna count as one day again and then you can stay here again for 180 day and then renew it multiple times as much as you want for five years and this is a good new in this right they use this visa to draw a lot of digital nomad who work remotely or someone who interesting to take like Thai boxing class or Thai cooking class or whatever class that you want to take so the condition is you have to have financial guarantee of at least 500,000 baht to make sure that you can support yourself during your stay in Thailand and it depends on your purpose of staying in Thailand if you want to work remotely here you have to have proof that you earn income from the outsider company and show to the government that you work remotely or if you purpose of stay you want to take like a Thai class just like boxing or cooking class you just aside from the school and then show to the government and yeah I think this is really good news whoever wanna stay in Thailand longer because before this you allow only to stay in Thailand just maximum 60 days with all the extent right but if you apply for this visa you can go back and forth as much as you want for five years and besides from that they still have another visa that for now already applied that you can stay in thailand for 60 days and plus 30 day extension what do you think about this visa have you already applied for this visa and maybe share your experience and tell us about all your experience with our folks here and now let's move on with the last news that in the last of this week thailand is gonna officially announce that we become into the winter season actually winter season in thailand is not something that will exciting for you guys but it might be good news that it's not very hot here the temperature average from the northern part of thailand is going to be around 23 degrees and i have some places to suggest for you guys if you plan yourself to come to thailand at the end of the year actually it's kind of like high season for now in thailand in the northern part of thailand some hotel the price might be raised up but it still have a bunch of choice that you can pick so if someone who plan to come to thailand i suggest you to go to Khao Yai National Park it's very chilly and the weather is really cold there I remember one time I went there during the winter season they have like fog in the morning and then most of people will go there and stay in the tent and in the morning you will see a deer 
climb up and then go explore the area that you guys live it's very very natural and i really fall in love it's just like three hours from bangkok and you can either drive or take the public bus there and obviously the northern part of thailand just like chiang mai chiang rai pai pre nan it's a bunch of province that very very beautiful and someone might not think about this if you go to the south of thailand in the winter season actually around this time it's not winter in the south of thailand it's become like rainy season there but the good thing is everything gonna go low like if you book for the tour the price is gonna be low and of course the hotel there the price is gonna be cheaper than usual and the good thing is it's gonna be less crowded maybe this could help you guys to plan your trip to thailand easier so overall at the end of the year it's gonna be exciting and fun and have a lot of event happening in thailand well that's it for today and i would like to say thank you to KLZI or aka name Klaus to buy me a super thanks ขอบคุณมากค่ะ thanks for support me and I really appreciate that and my favorite comments from the last video is from men's daily advice encouragement I really appreciate your compliment and the good thing that make me more happier that I can help newbie who interesting to come to Thailand or travel to Thailand so I think the good thing is at least you can prepare yourself right what you're gonna meet in the future I think for not knowing or have no imagination about what gonna happen in the future that the most scared for me and i really happy that every single one of you guys help me build this community to be informative and also safe zone for everyone to discussion about all the topic so that's it for today and hope you guys have a wonderful weekend see you for the next time bye